Hey guys, I'm back. I'm going to try and talk a little louder this time because I realize that's really hard to hear. Um, so I, I don't think I ever told you, really cat, really, what I'm trying to accomplish with my life. I don't know. I don't know if you want to hear it, but if you don't want to hear it, you can just go away. Um, so I'm a seamstress and I really want to be in theater and costuming and things like that and I sew a lot of things like this beautiful dress mmm go buy it it's on the internet on Etsy the cat's aggravating me he shakes the camera you shake the camera with your big butt um so like I've said before it's like the job I have now I thought I had gotten like my dream job working for this company and turns out I'm doing a lot more menial stuff. Like, I have a college degree, and I have a lot of experience doing what I want to do. And standing on a production line, pulling things off, and, you know, smelling burning plastic all the time is not really what I want to be doing. Um, so I'm going to talk to my boss about that. I highly doubt anything is going to change. So I'm going to change that. Um, I'm applying for a lot of jobs. I have a list of jobs right here that I've applied for slash my to-do list with things like do laundry, tidy kitchen. That happens. Um, I'm a bad housekeeper. Um, so I applied for several jobs and the first one was um, in Chicago for a soft goods coordinator. Basically they're an event company that does like weddings and stuff and you can rent tables and chairs and tablecloths and those curtains that hang from the ceilings that don't have windows behind them, they're just like partitions. Um, that's what I would be coordinating and I know how to do fabrics and all that stuff and there would be some sewing which I'm pretty sure is just hemming curtains that don't have windows. Uh, so I emailed them and sent them my resume, and I also did the Veggie Tales tour for wardrobe, sent them my resume. There's no drinking and smoking on tour dates, which, you know, I'm okay with some, some jobs. I would love to drink in the middle of the day. Veggie Tales, probably not one of them. I still love that, oh, where's my hairbrush song? I sing it pretty much every day when I can't find my hairbrush. Um... There's also one in Illinois, which would be a stitcher slash wardrobe person, which sounded pretty cool. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my list. Uh, there's a costume shop in L.A. that would be, you know, patterning and cutting and stitching basically all the things I did in college in the theater costume shop. So it sounds perfect, and I really want her to call me back. <laughs> but she posted this job like a month ago, so I'm pretty sure it's already full. And it's in L.A. Like, I would love to go to L.A., but I don't know if I want to go to L.A. full time. Um, and then there's a Shakespeare in New Jersey, which in my mind everybody's wearing leopard print and has the, the, the font. Oh, I can't make my hand do it right now. It's okay. It's falling out. Um, and a lot of bronzer. I'd have to wear bronzer if I went there. I'm really pale. Not even cool pale. You can't see it because this camera makes my skin look great. But, um, super freckly. It's weird. Uh, so I applied for all these jobs yesterday, and I applied for one in New York City that's only like a three-week job um, doing wardrobe supervisor, which would be fantastic. And I would love to go to New York City for three weeks, four weeks, and work. Um, I think that would look amazing on a resume. And I'm looking at all these things, and a lot of them are just short-term, three and four weeks up to, you know, two or three months, which I'm okay with because I do love my boyfriend and I do love Oregon, but there's things I want to do with my career, and so... If I have to do long distance, it's going to suck, but I'll have a career and I'll be doing what I want to do. Because I made a deal with myself that if I'm going to have a shitty job, I want to get paid lots of money. 
and if I'm going to get paid peanuts, I'm going to do what I love. It's kind of a trade-off, you know, like a scale, like a scale of the more I get paid, the shittier the job I'll do. But the less I get paid, I'll the more I like the job, the less I'm willing to get paid. Uh, like this one place that's called, uh, so I love Renaissance Fairs, and I go to them every summer, and I tried to have a booth this summer, and I didn't sell very many things, but thankfully my boyfriend did. He does a lot of work and stuff, so that's good. Um, but I saw, I see her every year at these Renaissance Fairs, and her stuff is just gorgeous. Like corsets and bustles and tops and skirts, and I just love it. It's beautiful. Uh, she's called Damsel in This Dress. Ugh, I mean, Damsel in This Dress. Uh, and I really like her work. And she's based out of Utah. And I went to go see her booth last time I was at the fair in Kings Valley at Shrewsbury. Um, and it was just gorgeous. And my friend who came with me to the fair to help me work the booth bought a corset from her. And I was like, I understand your reasoning, but I have like three right here you could buy but it's it's a different style and stuff and I understand why she bought it and I probably would have bought one too if I wasn't like come buy my stuff instead ah. so that's that and so I emailed her and was like hey I have family in Utah that I can live with for free and you should let me come be your intern and you don't have to pay me money I'd love it if you paid me money but you don't have to, and I really want to work with you. really want this to happen. She hasn't emailed me back yet, but then again, I only emailed her yesterday, and it's almost Halloween, so they're probably crazy busy. Um, so, I don't know. I'm uh, looking for jobs. And I am at the point in my life with being done with school, I could go anywhere. And the only downside is I'd have to be away from my boyfriend, and I know that sounds really stupid. Uh, why are you putting your career on the back burner for a boyfriend? And because I love him, and he keeps me sane. So, I don't know. I'm just going to look for things that look good on my resume and that I can do. <sighs> like, before I graduated college, I sent out about 82 resumes in four months. 82 resumes for, like, summer jobs, working in theaters, all over the country, everywhere. And I got maybe 20 responses, and I didn't get any of those jobs. And towards graduation, I was looking for other jobs that I could, you know, I ended up working at a bar because I moved in with my parents because I had no money. I thought you were supposed to get a job after college, not bartending. But sidetrack. Um... So, I applied for all these jobs, and I didn't get any of them, and it really sucked. And then after I had sent out all of these resumes and cover letters, we are talking over. My cat's knocking stuff over. That's cool. Um, I realized that my cover letter, instead of saying, dear, or dear Mr. So-and-so, dear Mrs. So-and-so, this is my kitty. He's angry at me. Um said DAR, D-A-R, and I'm like, the first thing, the first letter they read is DAR, and it's messed up, and it's like, uh, I have no idea how many people just threw away my resume, because I was stupid enough to not proofread it better, which, you know, my own fault, but I'm really bad at, so, I fixed that. And all these new resumes that I sent out and cover letters. So hopefully this will work. And I won't have to keep going to the burning plastic factory. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at right now. I'll probably try and post again at some point. I don't know. I'm not very consistent. Um, okay. Well, I hope you guys have a good day. And if you know of anywhere that's hiring for costume stitcher person or websites that do that because indeed.com is indeed not a very good website. Damn you, Google. 
but um okay well have a good day guys and i'll see you soon i don't know what this wave was bye